Our top story tonight, a chilling testimony in court today as Daryl Brown Jr. goes before a jury in his manslaughter trial. Prosecutors say he killed a six year old boy while recklessly driving an ATV through Terrell Park. Prosecutors say Brown hit Carter Osborne while speeding through that park. But the defense argues it was all an accident and the six year old ran out from behind a parked car. They argue there was no way Brown could have avoided hitting him. Brown now faces a second degree felony manslaughter charge. Good evening, everyone. I'm Brenda Matuti. Both sides are warning jurors that this will be a very painful trial with photos and memories of Carter expected to be shared in court. Tonight, 12 News reporter Cameron Seibert is live at the Jefferson County Courthouse. Cameron, walk us through today's testimony. Yeah, well, Brenda, a long first day of this trial has come to a close here at the Jefferson County Courthouse, and now the jury will go home and rest on what is the key question in this case. Were Daryl Brown's actions reckless on that fateful day? We started with opening remarks this morning. Assistant District Attorney Tommy Coleman warning the jury about what they will be seeing this week. He says he plans to prove that Mr. Brown was driving in a park where ATVs are banned and prove that Brown was speeding. Coleman says there was a 67 foot skid mark, which shows exactly how fast Brown was going because he had to hit the brakes. In response, defense attorney Marcus Wilkerson pointed out that Carter Osborne darted out from behind a car and the crash didn't happen near a playground. The defense added that about 100 ATVs were out riding at the park that day along with Mr. Brown. He says his client was not intoxicated and risked his own life by flipping the ATV in an effort to avoid the wreck. The jury then heard testimony from eight witnesses today that included Beaumont police officers who also showed their body camera footage. They described the scene that they pulled up on that day as chaotic and emotional, and they all estimate around 800 people were at the park that day for a Mother's Day event. So a lot to unpack from the first day of this trial. Two of the tough moments for the Osborne family had to hear had to be hearing that 911 dispatch. You could hear witnesses at the scene screaming after the accident. Also, they had to view some of the pictures of Carter Osborne's body at the hospital just after he was pronounced dead and some of the gruesome injuries that he suffered in this crash. Of course, a lot more to come, more emotional testimony, still expecting testimony from family members uh, in this case. And I, I would encourage you to stay tuned to 12news.now.com. Uh, we're going to have a lot of information on our web articles as well. Another update coming up tonight at 10. I'm live at the Jefferson County Courthouse. Cameron Seibert, 12 News.